he just pulled a body out of his car and it has no head. I don't know what is going on. Did it happen? Yeah, I did. I tried talking to them. Did it happen just right now here? Yes. Oh, shit. Is that real or is that fake? Looks real, dude. And was he the only one in the vehicle? No, well, there's this body laying on the ground. <gasps> He had, a, he had a huge knife. He was chopping at something in the car. Had a huge knife. And, he, yes, and he tossed the knife into the grass. He pulled the, what looks like a head with hair out of the body, out of the car, threw it on the ground, and then pulled the body out of the car. Okay, so he threw the head out in this area? Yes, it's on the, well, it's on the ground. Police have identified the victim as 55-year-old America Thayer. We're told she was found around 2.30 yesterday afternoon at the intersection of 4th Avenue and Spencer Street. Police tell us they found her body beheaded. 55-year-old America Thayer was a warm and compassionate individual known for her gentle and humorous demeanor. Her co-workers and family characterized her as soft-spoken, cheerful, and always ready to share wonderful stories. America, originally from Cuba, completed her high school education in Minnesota. While there isn't much publicly available information about America, one heart-wrenching fact we do know is that she endured a 12-year abusive relationship with a 42-year-old man named Alexis Sorbert. Sorbert was described as extremely controlling and abusive, with a history of domestic violence that plagued their relationship. Court records revealed that he had previously been convicted of gross misdemeanor domestic assault following a 2017 incident involving America. During that altercation, she called the police from their home, and when officers arrived, they found Sorbert holding her to the ground. America recounted that the fight had began during a visit to a local bar when Sorbet suspected her of talking to another man. According to America's son, this was just one of many incidents of domestic abuse between the couple. He could not even count the number of times the police had been called to their home to intervene and protect his mother. Co-workers also reported that America would often come to work with visible injuries like black eyes, bruises, and broken bones. She would sometimes spend the night at the home of her co-workers so she did not have to face him. America found herself trapped in a classic cycle of an abusive relationship. Sorbert had complete control over her, and she struggled to break free. Even when she did manage to escape, she would eventually return. It was one of those relationships where people knew in their hearts that it wasn't going to end well. The shocking and tragic event unfolded on July 28, 2021, when officers responded to a report of a stabbing near downtown Chicopee, Minnesota, around 2.30 p.m. When they arrived at the scene, they discovered America's lifeless body, decapitated, lying next to a car. Reports indicated that an argument between America and Alexis Sorbert had escalated while they were on their way to a court hearing. Sorbert had been charged with setting fire to their apartment during a confrontation with the police. In response to America expressing her desire to end their relationship, Sorbert struck her with an eight-pound dumbbell and then decapitated her with a mache. Witnesses saw Sorbert behind the wheel of their car, making a hitting motion during the argument. One witness recorded a video that appeared to show Sorbert pulling America's lifeless body from the car and tossing her head by the hair next to her body in the street. Tragically, just weeks before this incident, Sorbert had casually joked with a friend about decapitating America. This case has deeply shaken the community, leaving America's family and loved ones in pain and disbelief tonight to remember 55 year old America Thayer. She was brutally murdered in Shakopee yesterday. And today we're learning more about Thayer, the suspect in her death and what half what friends have described as a troubling relationship between the two. And Fox 9's Mary McGuire joining us with more on this story. Mary. Friends and co-workers who came to the vigil tonight say they want America to be remembered as the sweet and kind person that she was, not for the tragic way that she died. I'm never forgotten. Holding a sign and balloons, Faith Howie and her family came to the intersection of 4th Avenue and Spencer Street to honor the life of their neighbor, America Thayer. I'm not going to see that beautiful smile again that I've seen every day. They weren't alone. Former co-workers and friends stopped by the memorial, leaving flowers to remember a woman they call an angel on earth. I'm still kind of in shock. It's just really hard and... 
very traumatizing. Just one day earlier, Shakopee police were called to that intersection. A search warrant reveals when they arrived, they found Thayer's decapitated body lying on the ground next to a car. Authorities say they have a suspect in custody, who multiple people tell Fox 9 was in a long-term relationship with Thayer, where domestic abuse was a consistent problem. About a month ago, Howie says Thayer came to her apartment looking for help. She goes, can I come sleep here tonight? She goes, I'm afraid he's going to get up and start in again. Court records reveal the suspect was convicted on domestic assault charges in 2017 and was facing arson charges for allegedly trying to burn his apartment down. On the most recent charges, he was released on $50,000 bond this spring. Those close to Thayer say they don't want people to remember the way she died, but rather the way she lived. We just needed a time for everyone to heal and come together and just remember for who she was and not for what happened. Alexis Saberit was captured and arrested approximately two miles from where America's body was found. Where'd he go? Right here. Stop, 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 stop. Get on the ground! Get on the now! ground! Now! Do not move! translator. Upon his apprehension by the police, he was questioned about the what happened to America's head. In a recorded video, Alexis was seen mimicking a cutting motion across his throat in response to the inquiry. Subsequent to the interrogation, investigators interviewed individuals acquainted with both Alexis and America, as well as patrons of the Travelodge where they were staying. Information gathered revealed that Alexis had reportedly threatened to decapitate America days before the tragic incident. Witnesses at the lodge also mentioned Alexis frequently carrying a large knife and spending time in the nearby woods. A friend of America's alleged that Alexis feigned mental illness to manipulate the courts and receive reduced charges for previous Alexis crimes. Alexis Sabert, who was initially found guilty of first-degree murder for beheading his girlfriend and fleeing the scene, was later found not guilty by reason of mental illness in Minnesota. The court determined that he suffered from a psychotic disorder and had acted on paranoid delusions, believing that America was trying to harm and kill him, including accusations of poisoning and implanting items in his body. It was a horrific crime carried out in public two years ago in Shakopee. 55-year-old America Thayer was murdered, then beheaded on a street corner. Tonight, her family is left heartbroken again after a judge issued a new verdict in the case. Lou Raguse explains. This was difficult even for the family of the victim, America Thayer, to understand because in May, a judge found Alexis Sabarit guilty of first-degree murder. But then today, that same judge ruled that he can't be held criminally liable because of his mental state when he committed the crime. Not guilty by reason of mental illness. The ruling the family of America Thayer was dreading when they came to Scott County Court to confront her killer. Hearing the words not, not guilty to murdering my mother, uh, it's... it's it's really hard for me to understand. It's hard for me to explain to my family, too. America came to America from the Dominican Republic with her son, Charles Thayer. They became citizens, and he looked forward to living a long life with his mom, who was just 16 years older. Things changed seven years ago when America started dating Alexis Sabarit. This is your typical telltale ab abusive man, controlling man relationship for many, many years. and. I can't even tell you how many times the cops were called for him beating the crap out of her and 
leaving her all bloody. America stayed in the relationship despite her family's pleas. Charles says she was finally planning to leave when Sabarit beat her and beheaded her in public. Charles thought the relationship's history proved Sabarit knew what he was doing. He'd already tried killing her. He'd told people he was going to kill her. He told her he was going to kill her. But Judge Caroline Lennon followed the advice of two psychologists who both believed the crime was motivated by paranoid delusions that didn't allow Sabari to understand murder was morally wrong. I just don't know what world or society we're living in anymore. Um, I just want this to be over with for myself, my family, and more, more importantly. And I just want us to be able to move on and remember the good things about my mom. Sabari will not be released to the public. Tomorrow, civil commitment hearings will begin and he will be committed to a hospital. Rest in peace, America Thayer. Your presence in the lives of many was a gift, and your memory will forever be cherished. Your legacy lives on in the countless lives you touched, and your spirit will continue to inspire them. May you find peace in the arms of eternity, knowing that you are loved and missed by all who had the privilege of knowing you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.